Sweet Jesus Radio. Sweet Jesus. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Sweet Jesus Radio. <laughs> Coming to you from 501 Bistro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're actually uh, on location here at the venue of the uh, Mag Mob Tour. And yeah. in the house, two very special guests. Super excited. Two of the illest in the game. And without further ado, I want to welcome to the show Rusty Jux and King Magnetic. What up, what up? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I just want to say right off the back, uh, listeners, uh, unfortunately, King Mag is, uh, has been losing his voice a little, so please bear with us. Uh, and we're working with the two mic system here today, so hopefully we can make it happen. But yeah, we're going to bring you, uh, bring you the heat here. So cool. So how's your day so far, guys? Uh, we'll start with Rusty. Yo, um, so far it's been dope, man. Yeah. They had um, one show before me, and um, we was at um, Albuquerque and shit. Everything's going good so far, man. So all right, man, all right, all right. We're going to just tear it down tonight. And you guys got in today? Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. Oh, that's yeah, right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Cool. So how was, the, how was the trip down here, though? As far as Albuquerque is, what, three, four hours? Yeah. It was cool. Man. I ain't going to complain. I've been on longer yeah. trips. <laughs> so all day today, any, any shopping or any sightseeing at all today in El Paso? I went down to the passport agency. Oh, I shit. <laughs> I walked like 100 that? miles. Down. That was the highlight of your day? <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, this, I ain't really seen nothing. This though. is your first time, right, Rusty? Yeah, this is my here first time here. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I yep. know King had been here before. Fifth. Yeah, I know. Yeah, is it fifth? Oh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Cool. So again, uh, another thing for the listeners, uh, if you hear some music in the background, guys, like I said, we're at 501 Bistro here uh, trying to squeeze in the podcast. They were, uh, these gentlemen were nice enough to you know, squeeze me in their, into their schedule here. So if you hear some Bob Marley in the back, that's why we're here at 501 Bistro. We're cool, man. We'll go and uh, start with some questions, man. We'll go and start with, uh, with King Magnetic here. It's the, King, the, the Mag Mob Tour. Uh, what's that? Are you promoting a new album? Uh, why is it called the Mag Mob Tour? Is that the, is that the, the posse? Mag, the Mag Mob is a street team. All you right. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, we're pushing that right now. Uh, we're pushing Time It Is Everything. That's my debut album. Okay. Uh, featuring DJ Premier, Knife Wonder, Smith & Wesson, Jadakiss. Oh, yeah. So we're still pushing that. And then I got another joint coming out in fall, man. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, me and Jokes working on something now as soon as I get my voice back. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Another question I want to ask you. Are you still in, uh, in touch with Reef, man? Yeah, yeah. Reef The Last Cause? Yeah, that's my brother. I know you guys brother. had that joint album, right? That was yeah, a while back. That, yeah, well, we, we actually only dropped a mixtape. We have an album in the vaults. All right. But it got caught up in paperwork, oh, okay, so man. that's not yeah. the one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not the uh, King and the Cause. That's more... Oh, that sounds tape. dope right there. Oh, yeah, we got the King and the Cause. I got the mixtape with me. You know okay, what I mean? that's the one. But, but, okay. Yeah, that's the one everybody heard. But All we right, had right. a, a have studio one. album but it never that never, never dropped. And I got tired of it. That's just like eight years old. What's the story behind that? Oh, shit. Paperwork and politics, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I own my own shit. I book my own shit. I ain't got to deal with none of that shit no more. Oh, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, in-between men there, middle men there. Yeah, everybody try to get their hand in the pot. Hell you know what yeah. Hold it up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Cool. So, one of the questions, obviously, guys, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll you know, start off with this one, is uh, Sean Price. Obviously, a really good friend of you guys. Uh, that's an understatement. Uh, can you guys talk, you know, you know, we'll go with King Magnetic first. Uh, how did you meet him? What did he mean to you? Uh, what's, you know, when's the last time you talked to him? Things like that. If you could share some stories, you know, for the listeners, for the fans. Well, I met him back in uh, 06. All right. We was doing, a, like, a festival joint. It was a... Uh, Bootcamp, Wu Tang, Jedi Mind Tricks, Rock Camp. We met, I was working on my first project then. You know, he hooked me up, he hopped on there, and you know, he started showing me some love. We stayed in touch. Oh, yeah. uh, when I started touring, then he, he hopped on a couple shows on my Capadonna tour. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we, we just we had a show uh, February. That's the last show we had together. Oh, for real? You know, last, last February and shit. Where was that at? I was out in New York. All right. You was at that one, man? Um, nah, nah. nah. I was in Mike, Mike Hands and then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Smith yeah, and yeah. Wesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word. So that's the last time you saw him in person? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, that shit, that shit still hurt me. Oh, yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's going to have a lasting impact on, on the, no, the hip hop scene in general, worldwide, man. Yeah. So we'll go with Rusty and Matt if you want to, the same question. Um, yeah, um. I met Sean when I was like um, 17 through my manager, and right. um, you know ever since then we clicked, man. I, I met him and um, when he was working on the um, when Helter Skelter was doing the second album, um, Magnum Force. 
right. Yeah, and, um, I remember that one. Yeah, I met him. I rhymed for him, and you know what I mean. Then we was cool from there. I got on the uh, the title track, Magnum Force, and um, yeah. another joint called Gangs All Here. Yep. Then after that, I did like a million collabs with him. You know, with his albums, boot camp albums. You know, a hype man for him. Toured with him everywhere on the map. You know what I mean? And back. Would it be safe to say you were his protege, so to speak? Yeah, man. It definitely. That's what I just yeah. said in the, in the new um, in my tribute song oh, okay, to okay, Universal, Universal Sean. Universal yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So um, that was my that was my big brother right there, man. For real. And um, you know, he's my son, Godfather. Like we family. Oh, for real. Oh, yeah. When was the last time you saw him, man? Or do you remember? You remember your last um, time in person, face to face, or last, last conversation? Last time, I think we was at um, we was at PF Cutting Studio. All right. You know what I mean? And uh, I would do Producer. a lot of recording over there. And that's that's PF. That's his brother too. Yeah. Um, the last time I spoke to him was on the phone and shit. You know what I mean? It's, okay. It's always fun talking with him, man. He's, he's a hilarious <laughs> I know dude he's a, in yeah, person. He's got the jokes, right? The, in the music, in person. <laughs> was it that? What's that song where he says, uh, "I wrote all this shit"? Is, is he, yeah, yeah. It's like three album, of them. Right? It's like three of them songs. <laughs> yeah. See, I told you everybody only recognized that one when he said it on my album and shit. I started it first, you know what I mean? I did it on his uh, his oh, mixtape, okay. The Master P, on the song called Bueno Times. Oh, okay, yeah. And he got me back okay. on my album, and then everybody just believed that one. And then I got him back on that uh, the Mike Tyson album, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, oh, for real? yeah. Oh, for real? Same joke? It's a, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The running his, joke? Yeah, yeah, so, you know. Word, man. What's uh Rusty Jux, man? I know it's uh, some New York slang, right? Was, uh, what's, what's that yeah, name? Yeah, Jux is just like a robbery. You know yeah. what I mean? You rob somebody. Okay. It, was, it used to be Rusty Juxman. Okay. You know what I mean? But then I just left it as Rusty Jux. And the Rusty right. part's just your real name or yeah, something? Yeah, Rusty is not. That's just... <laughs> like, I, you, I guess it, you, get, you get robbed and stabbed with a Rusty oh, screwdriver. Okay, it's even okay, worse. Okay, you know? okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Just, just uh, you yeah, know, those I little, just, those little uh, fun facts, so to speak, for yeah. the land the fans like to know, man. Yeah. Or people like me, I like to do doing my research and knowing some of it's not the most useful information, but I like knowing it, man. Yeah. <laughs> so that's just for me, mostly, man. Hi, oh, yeah. Let me take a look at my notes here. All right. Uh, let's see here. So let me ask you this, guys. Obviously, you guys are, you know pretty prominent in the underground hip-hop scene. Uh, now, instead, of, instead of asking you what you like about underground hip-hop scene, what don't you like as far as business-wise, music-wise, uh, you know, specifically the underground hip-hop? I'm sorry? It was a shorter question the first way you asked. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. I hate this shit. <laughs> Niggas is faggots, huh? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I don't like. I mean, it's... it's is if, if you, could, you could do whatever you want to do, man. If you, you know what I mean? You ain't yeah. signing nobody. You could just... Do your videos, put your music out yourself. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like it's it's a dream come true to me. Word. You know what I so mean? Yeah, yeah, you, Make you, your you, own tours up yeah, <laughs> and word, get word. out there. So you stay you stay positive about it. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Not like uh, not like, over not here. Like, like, <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of bullshit, but you know whatever. Yeah. What I'm gonna do. Yeah, nah, nah, don't, nah, don't get it twisted. It's definitely yeah. the best job I ever had. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But you know, I don't like rappers for the most part. <laughs> I don't like people. I, I, I don't. don't I don't like people. Like people I, don't I don't like people that much. Movie effects. <laughs> yeah, I don't like people, humans. People in it is something different. Humans yeah. suck. Awesome. Yeah, spe especially like when, when, once you, uh, you know, you, you used to street life, you used to jail shit. There's, there's a lot of lines you don't cross in real life. They get crossed every day in this rap shit, bro. Okay. And that, that's what I don't like. But yeah. you know, at the end of the day, like he was saying, you know, you do your own thing. You're not in touch with that as much, but there's so you can have some stories over yeah, here. Yeah, you, have you, to you, yeah, you depend on people no matter no matter what, you're gonna depend on somebody for some sort some sort of service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and if you know they, Once they're, you live if they're you shady, learn, you know. Get over there. Yeah. yeah, I remember I don't know if it was in a song or in an interview, but Noriega, he was saying something like that. Or maybe it was like in a documentary or something, but he was saying yeah, man, uh, the music business is worse than you know the, the, the drug business on the streets. Because in the streets, if somebody crosses, you could kill them. And, and yeah, the, and you the gotta record business, you got to take it. Or you just got to yeah, take the or, loss or some shit. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, yeah. I always remember that. Noriega said that shit a while back. I just don't remember where the fuck, where he said it. But, oh yeah, man. So, what's the, let me ask King Magnetic over here. What would be, what's your current relationship with the uh, Army of the Pharaohs, man? Who? Our man. <laughs> I think you answered your own question. There you go. <laughs> the, the, oh, you got shortest it. answer in uh, the history. I mean, nah, we, it's, we, it's, we cool. They do their thing. I do my thing. All right. Uh, I still work with some of the members. All you know right. what I mean? But outside of that, I mean, it's not. People look at it like it's some kind of Wu Tang shit. Like, you know, we ain't, 
we ain't all always together and rocking like, like we email each other shit. It's, it's not what it look like, bro. You live in the so, same house. <laughs> you know, and shit. Yeah, I, I, yeah. You know what? I don't want to waste my voice on these niggas. Don't do it like that. Or not. You should do a reality show. Army of the Pharaohs reality show, dog. So is that? Is that <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how real it would be. <laughs> so is it safe to say you're not a, a member of Army of the Pharaohs anymore? I don't know. Uh, according, according to Wikipedia, uh, oh, okay. according, okay. according to my publishing checks, besides that's what I, that. That's what we use, yeah. Wikipedia. You know, shout out to Reef the Lost Cause, though, self-titled. Reef, yeah, I just saw him in Las Cruces. Well, it's already been about a year, but yeah, Reef, yeah, Reef ripped it out there. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, that's right. It came late and shit. That's right, that's right. Shit. That's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah no, I Reef ripped it, man. Uh, I took my uh, my ex girlfriend, and you know she's not. She liked more of the nighty shit. You know she kind of didn't keep up with all the indie shit. Right. So I brought her out to that show, and she was like, "Oh shit!" You know what I mean? Yeah, re- Fucking reef ripped it. Oh yeah, yeah, high yeah, energy, energy, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So all right, let's see, let's see here. Any uh, let's talk about the tour stories, man. Any kind of war stories out there in the trenches, man? Anything crazy happened? I know you got stories, man. This podcast is based on stories, bro. We need stories, man. What kind of story you need? Shit, the craziest, wildest shit you can think of, man. No, I, I don't think I can repeat that out loud. I all mean, right, all right. The second craziest. I, I mean, you know, shit happened. Um, what do you want, like a violent story, a chick yeah, story? Uh, what? Both. Yeah, yeah, both. both. All right, a violent chick got, story? We got a lot of time to fill. We're, yeah. we're only 11 minutes deep. Nah, I mean, you know, we, we out here... Um, you know, we ain't just out here naked, you know what I mean? Niggas, we, we fall from home, so we gotta be right. And you know, sometimes shit get a little haywire. <laughs> so, so you know, we have a certain reputation in our music and we have a very similar reputation in, in real life, you know what I mean? And I mean, that, that's as much as, I don't want to incriminate myself. Stat, <laughs> statue of limitations is a motherfucker. Say allegedly. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I do that man. a lot, yeah. Allegedly. Yeah, like I ain't saying I'm strapped up right now. I'm just saying it would be smart to be. Yeah, yeah, there you go. If you're gonna come at me, let me put it that way. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> like some dragnet shit. Yeah, nah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, we out here working. Yeah, you might have an occasional wild whatever, some shortage, or you might get in a crazy fight or whatever, but at the end of the day, you know, we got kids, man. We, we out here to feed you our kids. kids, man. I got five kids. Damn, son. Least. The hell? Shit, I've been, I've been no wonder you stay on tour, nah, man. I, and I, I've been, I ain't gonna, I've been reckless lately. No oh, uh, shit. Why have no pass on? Here you go, the stories. Here come the stories. Word. He's gonna make a story tonight. Facts. Next time he come to the Sweet Jesus Radio, he's gonna have an El Paso <laughs> story. Hell yeah, man. So you got five kids, damn. So you, so you beating up your fans, Mac? I don't beat up my fans. <laughs> no nah, shit. it's you, it's promoters. Oh, okay, okay. Promoters, rappers. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm really cool. I'm cooler with my fans than anybody. Hey, you know what, though? Sometimes promoters, promoters are fans, bro. No doubt. Uh, but, yeah, if the business ain't right, then, you know, you got to take care of business. But uh, I remember that's one of the things when I became a promoter, because I'm a promoter as well. Boy, I, I kind of only do it, like, once or twice a year now. The, le- uh, the less, the better, bro. Yeah, Trust uh, me. I, yeah. used to do, I used to do that, too. It's horrible. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, <coughs> but I remember some of the artists I would talk to, as a fan, I'd be stoked, you know, kind of starstruck. And, man, man it, some some of these guys are they're like they're like you kind of you know, they're mean. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a nice guy, you know. I'm like man. I'm not gonna say no names, but like I've been like I've been kind of you know treated kind of mean by some of my heroes, man. I was like God, dude, this Shit. fucking this promotion business ain't it, it ain't all fun and games. It's not. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of got me. Like, yeah, get on with the interview, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Rusty, uh, same thing with you, man. Come on. Give me some stories, man. Man, I, <laughs> Come on, man. I ain't got no stories, got man. Every, stories. Everything is good, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm living my motherfucking dream, man. That's all. There you go. Man. There you go. Everything is good. <laughs> yeah. Joke's mad positive, yo. Well, yeah, I can tell, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You know what, man? Jokes, you got the one of the dopest voices, man, when you spit. Good that, looking, that man. That I appreciate raspy, it. That raspy shit, man. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and talk about what you got out right now. Meteorite? Yeah, man. Can you talk I, about I, that? I dropped it. Um, first, I dropped it, uh, um album with my brothers from Cali and shit. That's my man, um, Pause One, The Beat Bruises. We dropped the album called Death by Stereo. All right. And then I dropped my solo album, my, my second album with Kayo Itachi, and that's called Meteorite. That's Meteorite. Yeah, and then my first, uh, my first single was Galaxy Goon. 
Then the second one, I came out with Universal Sean, my tribute to Sean Price. And um, it's been doing good so far, man. It's doing real good, oh, man. Yeah. And uh, my new single, my new video is out right now called Water on Mars, featuring right. Rim from the Villains. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm on this tour with, with Mag right now. Then I'm headed to Japan, <laughs> so. Oh, for real? Yeah, then I'm, uh, I'm going to keep dropping more projects and shit this year. So oh, I got yeah, like yeah. two more projects I'm going to drop. How did you get the how did you get the whole Japan hookup, man? How uh, um, how's the I, love out there? I did a feature with this um, with this Japanese kid, um, Omen Forty Four. He's a he's a, a rapper slash producer. All right. And then um, he booked the show for me in New York, and we did an EP together. Mm. So you know now we got the tour for it. It's the, the EP was called Black Sunrise. We dropped that um, earlier this year too. All right. And um, we're, so you know we're gonna do and that's it. all doing, Japan. Yeah, I'm doing like seven joints out there, so oh, okay, I'm excited okay. about that too. What you got? Uh, uh, what you got in the or as far as upcoming projects? Let's talk about that. Anything you can kind of give us some little yeah, sneak peek details. About I got some? a lot of projects coming, man. I, For real? I, one of my one of the projects I'm gonna drop. I got another one coming with Kyo Itachi, okay. featuring my man Miles Grimes. It's me and mm. him. We tag teaming on it. Kyo on the beats, and nice. that's called Killer Cartel. And um, then I got another. I got another project. I think I'm gonna drop before that or um, or after that. It's called International Jokes. And, um, you know, it's just featuring me and my fans. It's my fans on every song. Oh, you know for what real? I mean? The producers, the rappers Hell yeah. from everywhere. Idea. You know what I mean? I got rappers from Africa, from France, from oh, Denmark, ah, Mexico, everywhere. You know what I mean? Damn. So it's called International Jokes. That one's going to be fucking interesting, man. Yeah, All these man. different styles and flavors, man. Everybody rhyming in their in they language. You know what I mean? So Damn, that's crazy. a good idea, man. What, 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 how did you come up with that idea? I just, um, you know, I do a lot of features. And, um, and so I was thinking about would it be something better like an album full of features you know what I mean yeah. I don't think nobody did that before you know because so, people man. don't care they don't want to do, no, <laughs> they don't wanna do no songs with the fans and shit <laughs> like fuck the fans you know what I mean but a lot of them you know you be surprised man on this album man a lot of people got busy man I, yeah. I got this female um, called Malachi from, from Lebanon and she was nice. she got it. she went in man like it's a, it's a lot of rappers man all Everybody the gonna globe. get their shine on, you know what I mean? How many tracks on that one? Do you know? Do you know um, yet? Or I you think still... this one is like um, thirteen <clears throat> joints on that. Right, yeah, right, right. so and I might do a volume two, but yeah, we got that one. Hey, uh, how, how did you meet uh, King Mag? King Mag? Um, damn, how did I meet King Mag, man? It seemed like I knew him for just knew him forever and shit. How, <laughs> how we met, man? Uh, we 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 was doing we we did it. We I think we was on features together, and then we just linked. Oh, okay. You know, like talk, and then we then we started doing joints, man. Right, 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 Word, right. I forgot. <laughs> what the, what the <laughs> fuck? Out there in New York? I just know we yeah. just knew each other, man. <laughs> just you just automatic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like cool, that, cool. and we just started working, man. Well, the, the first... I got him on my my <laughs> VIC album. Um, he was on the on one of the bonus joints called um, Champion. That shit oh, was crazy, cool. man. That was Damn, 2012. I heard that one. I heard so that. I've been rocking then, with something for a every, minute. Everything's a gamble. Three, the joint with Sean Price and Saigon. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Hook yeah. on that. I heard that one Beast, you never heard Beast? Mm -mm. Yeah, that was crazy Saigon too. Saigon on it. Yeah. Damn, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was yeah. rocking for a minute, yo. So it's just kind of one of those things, mutual friends. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, this hip hop shit, man. Real, yeah. recognized, real. We yeah. both. You Dope click. MCs and you know we just yeah. linked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that working, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you invited Rusty for on the tour. Yeah. You were available, and here we are, right? Yep. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All righty here. Okay, man. Uh, shit, not to get all political, man, but you got are you guys uh, endorsing anybody on this since we're you know? I ain't endorsing no motherfucking. <laughs> they all motherfucking devils, man. May they all burn in hell. <laughs> 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 Just got mean as shit Ain't nobody. It's a different kind of film. I don't burn. give a fuck about you none of that burn shit. In hell. That right. shit don't even. That shit don't even matter. Them votes, none of that shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Elab elaborate, Rusty. What, what do you mean they don't matter? They don't, man. Because they, why, why, motherfuckers, why know who they want put in office already. This is just, just, just some bullshit to keep everybody entertained right now. Just like a play. That's huh? what I believe. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm I ain't right up there with you, man. I agree. Ain't nobody. They ain't gonna do nothing for us when they get in. So you're not feeling the burn. Ain't nothing gonna change in my neighborhood. Because of whoever the fuck get in the fucking office. Damn devil. You know I mean? I'm Word. saying. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I rock with Bernie, though. Because I look at it like this. If you, if you let any of them other people up in there, it's going to be instant war. It's going to be worse time. You know what I'm saying? At least, at least Bernie ain't going to buy us some time. Especially <laughs> Trump, man. What's that hashtag? Dump Trump? Dump fuck Trump. that nigga. Make, make, hair, make America hate again. <laughs> yeah, he's crazy. I haven't heard that one. Yes. I don't know why he just wants to make America great again, guys. Why? Why, why do people hate Trump so much? Yeah, when it—it's never been. When it was? When was it great? 
<laughs> That's the question. It's Back been shady since day one. When it was, when it was slave, when everybody was really fucked, it's, it's it, fucked it, up. It now. was great for them. Yeah, for the man. Yeah, exactly. For the make powerful, it great right? Again. <laughs> His make it great again is go back to the when it was Try really to take fucked it back, up. Yeah. Re- revert it back to those days, huh? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, man. Well, shit, man. Let's hear. I know you guys are busy, man. So we're going to cap it off there, man. Uh, let's go ahead and promote whatever you guys want to promote. Mag, if you want to promote your uh, album, and we'll go ahead and uh, close it out. We we headed to we headed to um, Nevada, then we going to Cali, then we going to Phoenix. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah, I was skipping shows, man. We, <laughs> just, just support this Mag Mob tour, man. Look it up, see where, see where we at. We're going to be in your, at, in a, at a venue near you. Hell you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So come check us out. Tell them where they can find you online, man. All your the social media and all that. I'm on Instagram. You just rusty motherfucking jokes. There you go. Or on Facebook, it's just Rusty Jooks. Twitter is Rusty Jooks 357. You know what I mean? Holla at me. And Magnetic, I know you wanted to promote something, right? Yeah. Nah, nah, everything, everything King Magnetic, you know, Twitter. sound better. It's getting yeah, there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, two more of them T's, I'll be able to do a show. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, oh, everything King Magnetic, all the social media, kingmagnetic.com. You can, you can definitely stay up to date with all the, all the shows and pictures from shows and all that. Free downloads, upcoming projects. Uh, fall, we're going to be back out in the U.S. again. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to line that up right now. i um, be dropping my second album. You already have a title for it? Everything happens for a reason. Producers, or you're producing it all yourself? <clears throat> no, no, I'm not. I'm not doing any beats on it. Oh yeah, I do beats. That's how yeah, I started. I know, but I know, yeah, now nah, I'm taking a break right now. All right, all right. Uh, Ninth Wonder got a couple joints oh, on shit. there. Uh, Crisis. Oh yeah. Uh, Astronaut. Uh, my man Amp from mm-hmm. Ninth Camp. Um, man DJ Low Cut blessed me again. A couple, couple things I gotta keep on under wraps until yeah, yeah, until yeah. I have it mixed and mastered. That's but. just a teaser, guys, listeners. You're not gonna throw Logs Matic on on the track, man. Yeah, he he he, he, he writes that, he writes my bars. Yeah, yeah. I heard Logs Matic writes all your rhymes. Dog. Facts. Him and Wavy. <laughs> oh yeah. No. That's my ghostwriter. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I told and I told him, I told Knife too. that we was down at Knife's, and I told him yo I don't write my shit. I'm like I'm just a thug, b. I'm just the face of the operation. I don't write <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, and he was like. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, I might be, maybe. Hey, hold up. You believe that? Yeah, for like five minutes. Oh, shit. That's a long time, though. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Oh, oh, shit. So, yeah, yeah, shout man. out to them, though. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. So, that's pretty much it, man. We're going to close it out. Right. Uh, any, do you want to do any shout outs here, Lobe, since you're here? You're good? You got, got a mouthful of us. Got a mouthful of tacos. Man. Shout out to the Dollar Tacos. Taco yeah, hey, yo, uh, and go cop that Media Right album. It's on iTunes right oh, yeah. now. I wanna, yeah. Go to shinigamirecords.bandcamp.com and get that joint. You, know you what go. Mean? You heard it here, guys. I want to thank uh, Rusty Jux and King Magnetic for being on Sweet Jesus Radio. Keep supporting that raw hip hop, guys. Uh, right, again, you'll be, we'll be on uh, iTunes, Stitcher, and SoundCloud as usual, guys. Uh, if you like what you hear, tell somebody about it. Share it when I post it and all that good stuff. All right? Peace. Sweet Jesus Radio.